Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Christian and this is my 2009 Nissan 370Z. As you guys can see, it is pretty well modified. There's a lot of things done to it. So I'm going to go over every part, how much it costs and the overall cost of everything put together. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get started with the front. Uh, with the front, we have a few things done to it. We have the Weber Sports bumper from Fly One Motorsports. I got it for about five hundred dollars um, with paint, so that's five hundred in total. So it was a pretty good price. And then we have the partial carbon fiber as well. So that one's a little bit more expensive. You're looking to spend about, I think it's a um, thousand two hundred, maybe a little bit less, uh, depending where you get it from. And also comes with the fins right here. These are also carbon fiber along with this and the bottom piece right here. I also have a custom splitter that I actually made myself. It is out of polycarbonate. So it's not that expensive. It was like 80 bucks for the material. And I made some brackets for about 50 bucks. And then we have these splitter rods that are about 70 bucks. So those are heavy duty splitter rods. They do last a really long time. I've had them for over five years. Uh, for the front, um, that's pretty much it when it comes to the bumper. And then we have this right here. The headlights I actually painted myself for about 20 bucks. So it was not that expensive. And then we have the carbon fiber hood from BIS Racing. This one I picked up for $700, but you're looking to spend about $1,200 for that hood. And then if you want to do custom headlights, depending on where you go, they charge about $500 plus, depending if you do custom like lights. Mine are just painters, so it's nothing special. And it was only about $20 to do it myself. I do have a Mishimoto oil cooler. You guys probably can't see it, but I'll show a little clip right now what it looks like. Um, that way, you guys, if you're interested in picking it up, um, you guys can see it. Now going over to the side of the car, I do have Fly One Motorsports full carbon fiber fenders. Uh, these are the vented ones on the side. There is different models. I believe it's like V1, um, which is this one, V2, and like V3. Uh, the other models have like gills or extra fins right here in the center. So it's going to look a lot better, more aggressive. But I got these for a really good deal. These I paid about $800, but you're looking to spend close to, uh, I believe it's $1,200. And then the other ones are about $1,500. So these are pretty expensive. And then I have my wheels right here. These are work Durandals. I actually paid $2,000 for these, but these are about $800 a piece. So if you add that all together, it's pretty expensive. These are two piece wheels, high disc, so they do clear the brake calipers. And on that note, I did actually upgrade the calipers myself. This is a touring model, it's not the sport. And that was about, I would say $600, but brand new, you're looking to spend over 1,200 for everything. So that's another mod. Uh, these wheels are 20 times uh, 10 and a half in the front and then 20 times 11 and a half in the rear with negative 10 offset all around. I'm um, in the front. I do not have a spacer. And this is perfect fender to lip fitment for you guys that are wanting to do that. I'm um, on the rear. I do have a spacer because I have a wide body kit on there. So that's going to be like a 50 mil. And that was another 100 bucks for that spacer as well. So um, these wheels are amazing. I've had them for a long time. Not many people have them. I think there's only one other person in Arizona that has these. These are a step lip as well, which means that they have this lip right here. They are pretty dirty. I'm not going to lie. I just went through a bunch of dirt. They got dirty again. I was driving for a while. So these are like my favorite wheels along with the Workmeisters. They've been doing me good for a really long time. They catch a lot of eyes. Uh, the tires are 245, 35 in the front. And then in the rear, I'm running 305. But if you want flush fitment with the specs that I just gave you, um, just like that, it's going to be uh, 275 in the rear, 275, 35, 20 if you want to do that. I do have this Crown Carbon Crafting wide body kit for the 370Z. Um, this is made for like the Nismo V2 rear bumper. And then you have the carbon fiber that I actually made myself. It does not come like this um, from Crown Carbon Crafting. I think you have to special order it. So I am thinking about replacing it um, with the carbon fiber because I didn't make this myself. I have like a few defects on mine, but this kit... I got it for $400 just for the rear and then making it into carbon fiber was an additional like $200. So it was about 600 in total. And the carbon fiber version is I believe 1,200 to 300. So it's pretty expensive. And these are the rear tires right here. Um, as I was stating, these are 305s because I have a spacer. I do need to go ahead and relip the wheels. 
uh, because they are not like made specifically for the wide body kit this wide body kit is two inches wider so it is going to be a lot wider than your stock body and then we have the uh door handles over there those i purchased them on black friday they were about 100 bucks but i think they're like 180 brand new but if you want to do your stock body these specs are perfect just get a 275 35 and you'll be good and then here we have the side rockers or the side skirts extensions those i purchased on ebay i think they're only like 100 bucks from icon motorsports now here in the back you can see we have my big ass swing right here uh, this thing is from battle arrow um this thing was con discontinued for a really long time it's about 1200 i actually picked it up for about i think it was 700 dollars so uh, this one was actually made for a 350z not 370z but it mounts right up to it and i've been running it for a while it completes the rear of the car it looks so aggressive and different and then here you guys can see that i have my vis racing carbon fiber hatch it is full carbon fiber this thing is expensive it's about i think two thousand dollars but i got it for technically free but i did trade a part so i traded my old hatch with my flywheel motorsports duck bill that thing was about 500 bucks with it painted and everything so you can say that i spent about 500 dollars on this carbon fiber hatch the stock hatch is made out of like metal so it's really heavy and that thing is like i would say 200 pounds this one's probably close to 50. i can pick this thing up by myself the tail lights i got them brand new so they were whatever they are right now i think it's like 700 to 800 dollars for those the amortimoto tail lights look really good looks really sick i'll show you guys right now the turn signals that's unlocking it and then locking it uh this fog light right here this one it's the cheap one from like Amazon or eBay. So that's the one I got. I don't remember the price of that. I purchased it for brand new. I get a lot of questions on this diffuser. This is sold by a guy in Poland. You have to message him on Facebook. I don't believe that he has like a, a website or anything. So you really do have to hit him up personally uh, to be able to purchase it. I'll link down his webpage um, down below in the description if you guys are interested. This thing I heard is about 500 bucks, but I paid about 175 from somebody here locally in Arizona. So I picked this up for really cheap, got really lucky and it puts it all together i did cut the bottom of the diffuser because it was burnt um the previous owner that had it his car burned up and i ended up picking it up for him for really cheap so the nismo v2 bumper is about 500 i think and i picked it up for 200 bucks uh, i did have to paint it of course so that's an addition like i would say 200 to 300 for my exhaust i have a tommy exhaust the full cap pack and then i have the megan white pipe the told me i got it for really cheap i got it for 500 bucks that thing's like alone is a thousand dollars the megan white pipe i got to use for 80 bucks but i believe it's about 200 and then i have c work r pipes those things are like a replica of the motor dyne so i paid about 450 and but i think right now currently they're going for about 650 i think the price did go up on those so really good exhaust i love it um i used to hate it without the work the c work r pipes after changing it to that i love this exhaust it sounds really sick it was really loud without the Seawork R pipes because I had like some AM high flow cats. Changed it and it sounds way different. And it sounds really good. It does pop. I do have a tune on it. So that's another additional cost to it. The tune, I think I paid about 450. Tunes right now are going for way more. You're looking to spend like, I say 800 plus for a tune. So I got a lot of things for a really good deal, including the exhaust. So it's one of my favorites. I used to have HKS, but this one sounds really good as well. All right guys, so today we're at a different location. I wanted to go over uh, two of my favorite mods for the 370Z. So I have one being the remote start. Uh, the remote start is about 450 brand new, but I got it for about 275. And it's from 12 volt solutions you just click it three times it's going to turn on the car plus i have airlift suspension this is like my favorite thing about the car so once it turns on i'll show you what i mean
hate. <laughs> so that's pretty sick, not gonna lie. It's my favorite mod for the 370Z. So click it three times, turns it off. Um, the airlift suspension, I paid $4,000 for it, brand new. Um, I didn't want to get a used kit for airless suspension just because it does come with warranty and everything when you purchase it brand new. So uh, luckily I've had like, I think two issues with my airless suspension and each time they warrantied it, replaced the parts. So that's why you really want to purchase it brand new, which is why I did it. That's pretty much it when it comes to the exterior that I can see. Um, and then going to the performance of the car, um, there's not too much that's actually done to the car when it comes to like engine mods. It's just the exhaust work. I do have Gen 2 still in intakes. So... So gone. All right, thank you, man. <laughs> what is that? Is that 370Z? Huh? 370Z? Nissan? All right, thank you, man. Yeah. I know. You saw me back Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Yeah, I was bad. All right, have a good day, man. All right, you too, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Later. Well, that just happened. <laughs> so, as I was stating, I have... Uh, still in Gen 2 intakes um, from still in I got them. Well, actually they came with the car when I purchased it So that's the only thing that I didn't really buy for the 370z Everything else was completely stock every single thing on this car was a hundred percent stock Nothing else uh, was done to it. Uh, the car when I purchased it um, I did get it from a dealer. So it was 18,000 but plus taxes and everything it came out to about 20k so in addition to that the car and everything $20,000 on top of the original prices at the bottom of the screen. But that's it for everything else. Uh, let's go ahead and actually move to the interior of the car and show you what's done to the inside of the 370Z. I will have to actually recline the uh, wing because there's a few things that I want to show you in the inside when it comes to like the airlifts and components and stuff. There's a little bit of money that goes into that as well. So let's check out the inside. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and open up the trunk of the hatch. Here is my air suspension trunk setup. Um, I did everything myself except the like epoxy. I cut out the material, but I had my friend from Kill All Eagles that actually uh, put the epoxy work on here in the coloring as red or like metallic along with gray and black. Looks really sick, stands out a lot, and it has like little craters to give it a really cool effect and look. And then I have a plate right here. So the plate is actually broken. It says airlift on the top with like cool cursive lettering. Um, that I paid about $80 for it from Air Rides Fashion. They are local to Arizona. So if you guys want anything like this custom, this is a koi fish. And then it has airlift on the top. I'll drop it on a picture so you guys can see what it actually looks like. And then the artwork and everything. I got the material. I think it was about 40 bucks, And then my friend did it for me for like an additional 40 bucks. And then when it comes to the lines right here, I actually got these from eBay. They are not too expensive. I think they're about 20 bucks. And then the tank, I painted it myself. Got the can from, I think it was like AutoZone, 20 bucks. Not that expensive, painted it myself and added a sticker from Switch Suspension. I had that sticker because I have their fittings. So I got those fittings directly from them. They look really good. Uh, some pictures as well. So you guys can see what the fittings look like. It just gives it a really clean look to put it all together. On top of that, I do actually have a line right here. So this is used to like connect a tire inflator um, i also connect like this right here so you wash your car go ahead and use it to take out all of the water with the air gun and then i also have one that's in a tire inflator uh this thing i got it as a gift but i believe it's about like 10 bucks on amazon i'll look for it for you guys and then the tire inflator is a little bit more expensive i think that one's 30 bucks but that one is digital let's go ahead and go over to the interior of the car the braum racing seats uh, they were $500, but brand new, you're looking to spend about, I think it's $800 plus, depending on the seats that you get. These are like the fabric type. I'm not sure why, but on the video, it looks kind of like, I think purplish, but it's it's really dark black. It doesn't look like that. I'm not sure why it's coming up like that on the camera. These were actually on a 300ZX, and I just had to purchase the brackets for them. The brackets are Sparkle brackets, so they're about $350. I did get those brand new. I have my GTR shift knob right here from R35. This thing I got it for $150, but the prices are insane on this thing right now. I think they're about $300 right now. So it's really crazy how much these went up in price. And then over here I have the GTR push start. Gives it a cool, clean look. Instead of the boring, like, white, clear color. Kind of looks yellow too sometimes. And then at the top I have my three tripod gauges in carbon fiber. 
those i got them for really cheap i got them for like 80 bucks and i think they're like 130 brand new and then on the side i have a gun magnet so i can put my firearm right there on the side and then on the side of the door panels i did paint them red they are fading a little bit so they don't look as good as they were a long time ago but i did that for like 10 bucks just had to take everything off put those on there or my underglow kit installed right there going to the outside Got that as a gift, but I believe it's about $50 brand new. I don't even know what you call this, but you're able to connect this to your phone for your music. So I just changed the radio station to like, let's say 107.5, sync it up to this. On mine, I actually added an SD card where I put a bunch of music in there. And now every time I turn on the car, just put it on the radio station, it's going to play my music automatically. So this is a really dope mod because a lot of 370Zs don't come in Bluetooth to be able to play your music. And honestly, that's pretty much it. Um, there is things that I want to add to the inside, like the carbon fiber gauges, carbon fiber steering wheel. But other than that, the interior is um, done. There's nothing much done to it. Just a clean look, comfortable, nice. I, of course, want to add like the, the bar over here at the back. All right, guys, so I think that's pretty much it when it comes to all the mods for the 370Z. If I forgot anything, I'll go ahead and leave it down below in the description, just in case I missed anything. But I'm pretty positive that's pretty much it. Um, I do have lug nuts. Uh, those were like 20 bucks. Oh, and I guess you could consider my license plate a mod, which is this one right here. In Arizona, it's like 50 bucks for the background and then another 50 bucks for the wording. And then for two years, another $100 on top of that. So it's like $200 just for that. It's pretty sick. Saucy gives it a good character, nice clean look. A lot of people actually like the license plate on the 370. It's like the first thing that a lot of people notice or mention. They're like, oh, look, it says Saucy. The only thing that I didn't really go over was the tires, how much I spent on those. I got the rear for 80 bucks, and then for the front ones, I got those new, I think it was like 250 somewhere around there. I forgot my hardware for the white body kit. That's actually kind of expensive. It was like $100 for all the ones that I have on there, and I'm still missing the bottom ones like right here, so I still need to purchase those as well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave down over here how much I actually spent for the 370Z with all the parts used. I do not have any sponsorships whatsoever. So it's going to give you a good idea how much I actually spent. Now, with this price, it's not like the overall because you do have to put into consideration that the car has gone through a few phases and I've installed every single thing like on my car by myself. So if you plan on having somebody else do it, you also have to consider like labor cost. Air suspension installs, you're looking to spend over 1K easy um, just to get it installed. So 4,000 for the setup and then another 1,000 to get it installed. So you do have to take a lot of those things into consideration. I'll try to give you guys an estimate of how much you would have to pay if you want somebody else to install all of your parts. Like let's say all of my stuff and getting a labor um, estimate on how much it would cost. I'll put that down here in the middle as well. And then over here, I'll put down how much you would actually spend to get everything brand new from like Concept Z, Z1 Motorsports. Hopefully it gives you guys a good idea how much you're going to spend for a 370Z to modify it to this point. Uh, I'm not including like the turbo kit, maybe like 10k for that. A lot of my parts got discounted, half price, waited for parts to come up, got them used. So a lot of it was like a waiting game for me. I was always waiting to find parts, getting it for a really cheap deal. So I saved a lot of money on a bunch of parts and you guys can do the same if you wait. But if you're not that type of person, you'd rather have everything at one point, you are going to spend a lot of money. So I'll leave three here of used, labor, brand pink and new just to give you an idea. And then you can add the labor cost to whichever one you want. That way it gives you an idea how much you're gonna spend on each thing. It's been a great journey with this car. I love it. I get so much attention. As you guys saw with the guy with the PT Cruiser, he just came through. He was talking to me. He was really humble, really chill. I get to meet a lot of people like that on a daily basis. And I also had another guy that actually just came like a few minutes ago. Um, he had a Volkswagen. I think it's like a, a Jetta or something. And he was also pretty cool. He was humble. He actually worked for Var Variant Wheels. So I thought it was pretty interesting. I know it's a company here um, in Arizona. Um, it's getting to a point where I kind of want to get rid of it. But again, this car gets so many, much attention. I put a lot of work into it. It's kind of hard to really just get rid of this car. I will be making a few more videos on the Z. And then I will most likely make my ultimate decision on whether I want to get rid of it or keep it. But it's going to be a very tough decision. I'm leaning towards more keeping it. But um, if something comes across the line that I really want to get, I might have to sell the Z. Damn, man, these flies or these mosquitoes keep bothering my ears. I'm going to have to leave right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. 
Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.